for far too long. The English based on Malta have interrupted our flow of supplies to North Africa. You have been selected to lead an elite assault force and subdue this enemy stronghold. You must secure all the island's harbors and the airfields so that our hold on the Mediterranean is secure. Hey everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Panzer General 2. This will be scenario number 9 and we'll be doing the alternate historical invasion of the island of Malta. It was a operation that never took place in real life and so that's what we're gonna do today. We don't have a whole lot of prestige, so I want to make sure first that my air force is overstrained. We're not going to upgrade or buy anything new. These guys are both still at 15. We'll leave these guys at 10. That's fine. Same here. We'll upgrade these guys to 12. And we'll put one more on these guys. They were already at 12. And we'll put these guys at 12. They're at 10. And then make sure the artillery is overstrained. They're at 11, so we'll put them up at 12. These guys got strafed in the last scenario. Okay, make sure. Okay, they did, they're still at 15. We'll put these guys at 12. We'll just put all of our tanks at 12, actually. They're already there. Alright. So we'll just increase them both by one then. There. And then let's check the infantry. Yeah, we got this really great spotting recon. Also, it can spot now at a total of seven. So we'll make use of that. Um, the infantry, 11, 12, 12. All right, I think the infantry is okay. We'll go ahead and just save our prestige here and get to the strategy map. We only have six turns for a brilliant victory, though. Once again, seems like that's the common theme. So we're going to have to do a land invasion. A lot of our units are going to be starting in ships here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like six deployment hexes that we can immediately put down. So we'll want at least a recon, and two artillery, and a tank, and an infantry. So let's go ahead and put that down now. We'll put the least experienced. Or actually, we'll come down with the more experienced guys. And then let's get... Um, let's take closer to these guys, 400. We'll let these guys come in, maybe right here. And then we'll get that really good recon. Not, not going to see everything. We'll put them right here. And then we will get this combat support infantry down here. That way they can start um, supporting. And then I think I want the superior maneuver guy. That way in case there's artillery or something back here we can ignore whatever's around them and get back to it. And then we will land these guys right here. And land our other artillery right here after the recon and tank move and then we will get 
Let's say this recon. And over here, let's get this tank right here so they can get some experience. Or actually, let's give these guys a shot. No, not on. Yeah, it's all right. And then up here, we'll get a couple more recons in a tank. How many infantry do we have? Three. Let's we'll get one more infantry, cause. I think only one will be necessary to take this, and and up here it, it's a choke point, so we're only going to need one also there. And this paratrooper unit, I forgot to mention that they gave us, will probably fly up here and try and take the airfield from behind, just to ensure that we get it for prestige if no other reason. But I have a feeling that they'll probably be needed anyway. So we'll put another tank here and then come up with one more infantry just to be sure, uh, safe. And I think that'll be plenty of recons. And we can pull these guys in behind. At this point, I don't really know that it's going to matter because these guys will be in so late, but we'll place them anyway. You never know. Yeah, something like that. And then we'll, we'll go ahead and get out these two bombers to start with since we have the recon that can see everything up to like past here or something like that and then we'll have to get the rest out so we have the Italian Navy with us and I think we'll split the forces and like they already are and go on each side of the island and Hopefully they can do something. I'm assuming the British Navy is here. So what do we have? This is Condottieri class. Spots at 2. It has a naval attack of 13. Or 11. I don't know why I read that as 13. And a range of 4. This is a Littorio class, range of 6 and a naval attack of 18. I guess that's a battleship. And more. So we have three Condottieri classes, two battleship Littorio things, classes, and a Salati class. Which has only has a range of three and a naval attack of fourteen. So I guess this would be more like a destroyer. So we would want to get that out in front. And we have another one here. And then an aircraft carrier. Another Saldati class. And then another one. They, that's actually mostly what's up here is Saldati. Okay. So I think we'll use these kind of as screens and keep the guys with further range in the back. And we'll just see what happens. Let's go ahead and land our forces and start taking 
uh, bases, hopefully. We have three air defenses. Okay, so we'll need to take those out with the artillery pretty quick. And a three range artillery. All right, let's take take out the air defense right here. These guys are entrenched by five here, and then eight in the towns. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and maybe we should take the infantry first. Let's see, we can use a bomber here. Let's go ahead and do that. And let's see if we can land and shoot here. Alright, very good. This one out. This air defense. Five and five. Can I get an overrun? Okay. So now let's hit hit these guys with the bomber. And then we'll hit these guys with the tank. Actually, we'll hit him with the artillery. And then overrun here. Yeah, I think what I want to do about this is maybe bring the resilience bomber in and then see if we can get and overrun with the tank. Let's try that. A resilience bomber, they have 15 strength. Predicts four and three. Let's try it. We lost two and took three. Bring our infantry in to finish this off. Okay, and then we'll land these pioneers right here and bring our other bomber in. Should be able to take this. There we go. Alright, so now with this recon, we will take as many towns as we can while spotting at the same time. So they have two more air defenses back here and a Matilda tank. This infantry is fire discipline. Okay, we'll land this tank here and hit with the recon and see if we can finish it off with the tank. Alright. And then up here, we'll land these guys and these guys and the recon next turn can this one can pick up most of these 
So we'll bring this infantry up here. And then we'll land these other artillery real quick. And we need to be aware of their infantry. So let's pull back here. That should be plenty and they can hit the air defense next turn. And then we will land this tank. Or actually, let's land this one. This leader has been doing a lot. Land these pioneers right here. And we'll just bring the recons up whenever. So for the Navy, I want to keep the, this group together as much as I can. It was the this un, unit that that we wanted to keep behind. Um, of this one, doesn't look like we're gonna quite be able to do that though. We won't go too far ahead. And the battleship can't move that far makes sense. And then over here we'll just bring these guys around. This is all mostly the same. Let's hit these guys range. We may be able to hit the air defense actually with them. Yeah, we'll hit this one since it's more entrenched. of three on this. And they're not really doing a whole lot of damage, but they're unentrenching pretty well. I actually don't want to go there, I want to go there, where they can't be spotted. But now they took one. Maybe with these guys... Right here, I guess they'll be spotted anyway. Oh well. We'll hit the infantry and then entrench them a little. guys around. I don't think they can hit anything. No. And we'll just bring the carrier this way. I don't know why. No particular reason. And we want to make sure that the artillery and our bombers are covered with fighters. So let's go ahead and this guy here, and that'll cover all the artillery and two of our bombers. And then these guys right here. We can move them right here. And then have these guys come over here. And for our leader, we will hit the artillery. Okay, so let's do a couple next units. Alright, the airborne. I don't want to move them 
up too far because they may be spotted. I kind of want it to be a surprise. Looks like they can get there in one turn anyway. So I'll just put them at the airfield for now. And then that's it for the first turn. So let's see what the British do. Fence over here, and I shot my fighter. Looks like they only took one. And then they have a leader Spitfire here with fire discipline again. And then another Spitfire. So they have two Spitfires and a lot of air defense, basically. So let's take care of this leader first, the leader Spitfire. Where's my least experienced guy? Let's see what he can do now that he has one bar. Still five and two, not great. These guys have three. These guys have two. All right, let's use these guys first. Go three bars against three bars. Four and six. That looks better. And they took nine. Well, all right. I'll let these guys finish it off. And then we'll do the same thing over here. These guys are almost at four bars. And these guys are two. So let's have these guys, since they're the least experienced, they'll hit first so they they get more. And then we'll finish them off with these guys if we need to, and that should push them over a bar. Or four bars, I mean. So we lost three and, and took six, so these guys easily should be able to handle that now. There we go. And they're over four bars now. These guys are close to three, so that's good. Alright, let's see what we can do about this ridiculous amount of air defense. Since these guys aren't entrenched, my pioneer should be able to get up there and... Alright, they... okay. We should be able to do this then, after we take the artillery out. So let's go ahead and take the artillery out and then we'll move these guys up to take the air defense. We'll do it that way. some of the Navy. Ah, they shot back. Nice. Should be able to take this now. And then these artillery can't reach anything. Do that. These infantry here are in the way. 
So let's go ahead and use um, this bomber. That'll work. I'll have to bring the pioneer in. Can I get back there with my recon? There we go. Just finish the artillery off. And then if we hit this tank with this recon, we may be able to get an overrun. Or not. That's fine. Let's go ahead and just take this infantry out real quick because they're in the way. And then we'll pull this tank up right here to take the town. Pull these infantry. Do I want to put them in the city? Yeah. And we'll go ahead and just weaken this air defense for next turn. We'll leave these guys right there so they're protected by artillery. land more of our guys. We need to pull these artillery up though. I'm okay with doing this because there's a fighter here so if they have anything else and get strafed we'll intercept. And because I didn't use money to over strengthen them I'm not too worried that it if they sneak in here and hit the artillery with their tank, it's, I'm not too worried about that. I don't think it'll do a whole lot of damage to begin with. And then these guys... We'll put them right here. Okay, so I'm gonna swing these guys around. We'll continue moving the Navy up this way. This is three range. Now that I think about it, we may be able to just take the bomber out completely with, or this tank, I mean, out with the bomber completely. Let's see if we can do that. Oh. I guess I should have hit it with all of this first and then it wouldn't be a problem. We need to 
wait for the battleships on the next turn, most likely. And I'll bring these guys up just so I don't forget about them. And then with the rest of our bombers, I'm going to weaken these two infantry and just kind of assume that was all of their air force and if it's not then oh well okay now we have this tank here Alright, looks like that will do it for this turn. Okay. Can we get an overrun here? What about from these guys? Tough tank. Wow. I didn't think it would take that much. Alright, let's finish up with this uh, base and all these air defenses that they decided to put replacements on. So we'll just leave them there. These guys, they spot at two. Take this thing out without using artillery. No. All right. So let's hit. Let's go ahead and take the base. That's how these guys can hit right there. That's alright. And then let's see if we can take this air defense out so we can take this town. guys out first. Alright, so now we can hit these guys with this artillery. They finally got a bar of experience, too, with that. So we'll hit these guys with this bomber, and maybe we can... Alright, never mind. We'll go ahead and fly them back for ammo. Same with these guys. We may actually just, yeah, we'll, we'll just do a round of ammo on those guys. These 
these two still have five because they started with seven. Let's bring our spotting recon up. We'll take this town real quick. And then we'll see what's out here. Okay, so at the hex they have another air defense. A regular infantry and a cruiser tank. So once we get past this, it's not gonna be too difficult. I can't see any planes either. Oh, there's the British Navy. These guys spot at two and have a range of three. So maybe we can use our six range battleships and sneak up on them. Now let's just put a line here. And then we'll get the battleships up as far as we can. And next turn we'll move down then. And then we don't have anything to take this guy off of the uh, town here. Not this turn anyway. I guess I could use a bomber as well. And we'll use it with, with that one. Who needs experience? 179. 159 is these guys then. Okay, they took out two. Oh, nice. Can at least take the base. Actually, let's bring this infantry up. Now we can bring all of the artillery up. Bring these guys up also. Say right there. Alright, one more. Keep them on the road. And bring the rest of the artillery in. Do we have anyone close that potentially could strafe that unit? And these guys need experience, so let's hit them with this. Yeah, they're not doing anything cool. 461. Use these guys. Let that go on. I don't remember what they had last time. 279, I think. So five. And then with these guys, let's go out and hit the British Navy and see if we can spot other ships also while we do it. Oh wow, they took off four. Nice. They just, they got a ton of experience for that too. They got a bar here and then they're almost at five bars now. Wow. Alright. What are these guys at? 407. They lost two and took one. Now they're at 422. Alright, let's bring the rest of these units up. We'll put paratroopers right here. And then we'll just let this bomber sit right there for now. 
I'm gonna do a few next units. Alright, and that'll do it for this turn. Recon. Oh, battleship. We have three turns left for a brilliant victory. What was that up here? Oh, we can't even spot it, it's so far away. Let's take this tank out. the artillery can't reach and hopefully we can take them off the base with this guy there we go okay cool and then where's my combat support infantry we're gonna need them up here for this Put them here on the road. And then artillery. I mean, let's take this ship out here if we can. I have an attack of 16. Range of 3. Spot at two, so we should be able to put the artillery over here now without um, being seen. I want to get at least a couple in position to start um, shelling before we get there. Just in case. That really should be plenty though. Let's put them right here. Why not? Apparently they love shooting at recon so maybe it'll deter them from my infantry. Let's bring these ships over. Uh, let's hit. Let's see, there's air defense right there. Where's my resilience bomber? I don't think they can reach the. Oh, they can reach. Alright, let's see what they can do on this one. Four and four, not too bad. I didn't see the suppression number. And then we will bring this bomber over here and hit. This is five range. 
with an attack of 12. This is 3 range with an attack of 16. I have an aircraft carrier up there. Oops. Got to let the air defense. That's alright. these guys to hit this ship. I'm going to use these guys to hit this ship since they're on top of it already. And then let's spot like right here. Alright. Oh, nice, we got a leader. And he hit five bars. Sweet. Two bars at Monto. That's impressive. So he skilled interceptor. Oh, and devastating fire on a fighter. That's awesome. There we go. Now, what other planes do we have? I have this fighter. I got another ship out there. And then we have this, so we're not going to bring that up yet. Alright, let's take care of this. What's the range here? Three. Alright, let's put them out here. So it looks like we can weaken with these guys and then hit them with the long range here. I, I kept them in range though, of, so we're going to get hit regardless. Right, let's see if we can take this ship out. Okay, they, so since they took seven, Hit them with these guys and keep the uh, battleship concealed. Alright, that should work. And a few next units. And what's their range? Three. So it looks like that's it for this turn. We have th uh, two more turns for a brilliant victory. Oh, we got a surprise on the water. Nice. I didn't know that could happen. Uh oh. That's a big ship back there. Oh, they, just, they just sunk my battleship. Wow. So they have two... No, one five range. And then a renown class at six range. And then a King George class at 6 range with a naval attack at 20. Yikes. At least this naval attack is 18.
Oh, maybe that wasn't the battleship. I thought it was. Alright. Let's take out this air defense real quick. Use the bomber to finish it off. Okay, or not. Maybe we can use the Navy to finish it off then. And then they bought an anti-tank. So we can take care of that with these two artillery. Go ahead and pull the airborne unit in now. I'm not actually sure exactly how they land, so we'll put it right here. If I put them right here, I don't know if I'd be able to actually land on that hex. I don't remember how that works. And, oh, I meant to hit the air defense with this guy. Whoops. Let's pull the combat support guys right here. And we'll put the combat support guys here. And superior maneuver guys right here. Something like that. And then we'll bring all of the artillery up one. And... I want to use this artillery. Actually, I don't think it's necessary. We'll leave them there. Alright, so let's see what we can do out here with this navy. I don't want them completely destroying my ground forces. Um, can I... Okay. So, let's... We'll come here. We're, we're gonna get shot at either way. Let's take this this thing out first if we can oh, nice another leader what do we get this time skilled recon cool so now we have a scout plane that can spot at three awesome So we have three fighters now that are leaders. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's use this bomber here. And then come in with these guys. Just to weaken them a little bit more. And this ship should be able to finish it off. Alright, well at least it's to the point where it shouldn't be able to do too much. I hope. Ok, 
Okay, not sure why my planes are able to do that. That's kind of weird. Interesting. Okay, we'll put these guys right here just to be safe. And we can slide them down. Alright. Let's swing the navy around this way. Go ahead and start unentrenching here. Alright. And with these guys, we'll hit this ship. And then we'll let this bomber get some experience on this ship right here. they can miss a gun. And then we have these guys we'll go ahead and base with. Alright, and that should do it. We don't need the rest of these units. So we'll end the turn there. So this is the last turn. Hit, hit them with these guys here. Um, we'll hit this artillery. And then we'll make sure that we can take the base. Take the airfield. Let's see, we have 1212 prestige. If I drop these guys on the airfield, do we still get credit? Okay, cool. And then we can take the objective with these guys. So let's see if we can get some experience here. Oh, nice, we got a leader on a bomber again. Aggressive attack. Plus two hard attack and soft attack. That's pretty good for a bomber. They're already really good. Um, anyone else? These guys. They need some more experience. We'll just do a round of strafing on ships real quick. Alright. And all of the artillery have fired. These are the devastating fire guys, so I guess we'll hit them again. Those guys can just stay there. 
All right, so I think that'll do it for Malta. Let's go ahead and step on the objective and see what they had to say. Your successful capture of Malta has secured our position in the Mediterranean Basin. The English will trouble us no longer, and the entire area is under our control. You are to be congratulated. Excellent work. General, as you know, Germany has declared war on the Soviet Union. You have been chosen to play a key role in our drive into southern Russia. You will assist our Romanian allies in their attempt to reclaim their lost province of Moldavia. The key city in this province is Kishinov, and it is also your primary objective. Not only is this assignment strategically important, it is politically critical. The world is watching, Herr General. Do not disappoint. All right. And we have a prototype unit. A prototype recon. So that's cool. We have... We have a new Fock Wolf um, fighter available. And a little over 1,400 prestige. And so when we come back, we'll be doing Kishinev, which is, I think, it starts in July. So about a month or so after Operation Barbarossa was launched. But either way, we'll be fighting on the Eastern Front now. And... I'll just scroll through real quick so you can see the experience that we have. And the Eastern Front is not going to be fun. I may actually need some more artillery for it because there's a bottomless well of infantry on the Eastern Front. But anyway, we'll wrap it up here. And so thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Thank you.